see this question for parameters a b both both of which are omega of 1 it means that a b are uh, little omega of 1 means asymptotically greater than constant it means a b are not constants a b are not constant simply means that so omega of 1 means this a is a and b are the not constants asymptotically greater than constant okay asymptotically greater than constant okay a and b values so t of n is t of n to the power of 1 by a means a root of n t of n to the power of 1 by a means a root of n plus 1 and t of b is 1 see b is not a constant but t of b is constant base condition base condition for the recursion t of b is constant b not constant but t of b is constant is given in the question okay then what is this t of n value see here okay so if the recursion in this form recursion in this form recursion of n is every time one recursive call only a recursive of a recursive of a root of n recursive of a root of n plus 1 if recursion is in this form okay generally the depth is log log n generally depth is log log n okay so we we don't bother what is that base in the notations if a b is constants okay if a b is constants if a b is constants a also true b also true and c also true if a b is constants because okay so no matter what that what that base value because okay if it is a b is constant log log n base 2 log log n base a b log log n base b a are become asymptotically equal but the thing is a b is not constant okay so and base condition is given for t of b recursion terminate for t of b so you can go for substitution method okay t of n recursively defined t of n to the power of 1 by a means a root of n okay a root of n n to the power of 1 by a okay plus excess value is constant so t of n to the power of 1 by a <coughs> this t of n to the power of 1 by a is again again a root for this one that means it is become t of n to the power of 1 by a square t of n to the power of 1 by a square plus 1 and pre plus 1 is the expansion of t of n to the power of 1 by a and again this plus 1 above is there means overall plus 2 after second substitution it is plus 2 t of n to the power of 1 by a square okay so after kth substitution after kth substitution it becomes t of n to the power of 1 by a power k 1 by a power k after first substitution it is plus 1 after plus second substitution plus 2 means 1 plus 1 after kth substitution 1 plus 1 plus 1 k times okay so 1 plus 1 plus 1 up to so on k times okay so that means that that means that t of n to the power of 1 by uh, n to the power of 1 by a power k okay plus k okay this is the uh, this is the given recursion now the base condition the base condition is for t of b means recursion terminates whenever the recursion input is reached to b this means this recursion n to the power of a, a 1 by a power k this recursion if reached to b if this recursion is reached to b then it terminate from the recursion okay so it so here n to the power of 1 by a uh, 1 by a power k should reach the value b should reach the value b from this we need to get the k value okay so apply one time logarithmic with base b apply one time logarithmic with base b that means it becomes log of log of this value 1 by a power k 1 by a power k multiplied with log n okay equal to log b base a log b base a applied logarithmic with base uh, uh, log b base b <coughs> okay log b base b applied logarithmic with base b so that so that this log b base b become 1 
so that this log b base b become 1 so what we can say that this log n is becomes log n is becomes a power k 1 multiplied with the denominator become multiplication here now to get the k value okay again apply this base also b okay this base also b okay first apply the log with base b apply log with base b okay now now again apply log with base a so to get the k value okay <clears throat> if you apply again log with base i so then you will get the k value k is becomes okay log log n this inner log is base b this outer log is base a okay now so this t of b is given 1 t of b is given 1 okay means t of b value is given 1 plus k value is log log n k value is log log n this inner base is b this outer base is this a this b and this a okay so t of n recursion becomes t of n recursion becomes t of b value 1 plus log log n base b and base a which is asymptotically equal to log log n okay so the answer to this question so this outer b is become this terminate b, b value inner b is becomes this this n power 1 by a value that a value okay so is the answer to this given question see this question so algorithm performs log n to the power of 1 by 2 find operations log n to the power of 1 by 2 find means such operations okay n insertion n insert operations and log n to the power of 1 by 2 delete operations log n to the power of 1 by 2 key decrement operations okay on set of data data items with keys drawn from linearly ordered set okay so the delete operation and point uh, delete operation a pointer provided okay for delete operation pointer provided to the record that must be deleted okay so address is given the decrease key operation the decrease key operation pointer provided to the record that has to be key decreased in general in general okay so most of the cases whenever we wanted to perform delete whenever we wanted to perform delete whenever we wanted to perform key decrement the pointer known to you okay pointer known to you because the other algorithm who calls for delete element and key decrement element will pass the uh, address where you want to delete and where you want to key decrease okay so delete element and key decrement these are the two operations in general we know the address where to perform okay but delete mean delete max and other kind of deletions okay so pointer usually not given so you have to find minimum and find maximum and then delete okay so delete mean uh, sorry a uh, delete operation and key decrement pointers is given right so the most of the most suitable data structure which is the most suitable data structure okay so for this algorithm so if if goal is to achieve the the asymptotic less time time complexity is the uh, should be less okay so here here the uh, in this question so mainly mainly he is asking about okay so find operations log into the power of 1 by 2 n insert operations n insert operations log into the power of 1 by 2 okay delete operations log into the power of 1 by 2 delete operations log into the power of 1 by 2 decrease key operations okay so just to solve this question just to solve this question in best possible way okay most number of operations is the insertions insertions is the much higher than the remaining operations insertion is the much higher operations 
okay so log into the power of of find log into the power of of okay delete and log into the power of of decrease key but insertions are n n insertions okay so preferably preferably data structure which is more suitable for insertion data structure which is more suitable for insertion should be the correct answer because more insertions are performed okay so if you choose the options unsorted array unsorted array in unsorted array one insertion constant time only we just insert the key at the last okay so n insertions required order of n only n insertions required order of n only delete if you take min heap one insertion log n n insertions become n log n if it is sorted array sorted double linked list one insertion become n n insertions become n square okay for that n insertions unsorted array required n multiplied with constant min heap required n multiplied with log n and sorted array required n multiplied with n and the sorted double linked list also n multiplied with n okay so best possible data structure is unsorted array okay so let's see that let's see the cost for remaining operations as well let's let's see the cost for remaining operations as well okay so so these are the these are the different operations which are required for the algorithm okay so these are the different operations which are required for the algorithm and various data structures okay so the algorithm required okay algorithm required log into the power of of find operations okay log into the power of 1 by 2 find operations and second one n insertions n insertions third one log into the power of of delete operations and fourth one log into the power of of okay key decrease operations now this delete and key decrement point is given where to delete and where to decrease if you go for option a unsorted array if you go for option a unsorted array so one search unsorted means we go, go for linear search one search required n time one search required n time complexity and that has to be repeat okay log into the power of 1 by 2 the time complexity become n multiplied with square root of log in okay so is the find operation one find is required n time it is repeated square root of log n times okay one delete one insertion constant time n insertions required n time only n multiplied with constant okay one deletion unsorted deletion is constant only one deletion constant okay one deletion constant okay multiplied with log n times square root of log n times repeated one key decrement of unsorted array key decrement of unsorted array constant time and repeated square root of log n times okay means if you use the unsorted array if you use the unsorted array okay the overall cost is overall cost of the algorithm so time complexity of the algorithm okay time complexity of algorithm okay is leading term sum of these terms leading term so leading term is this first one so the time complexity requirement is okay so n multiplied with square root of n n multiplied with sorry square root of log n right now <clears throat> the second one is min heap okay second one is the min heap if you go for min heap because it's a complete binary tree finding means linear search here finding means linear search here okay n multiplied with square root of log n okay one one find operation required n time linear search okay min heap not good for searching okay so n insertions one insertion takes n time n insertions become n log n time okay then so 
लॉग इन लॉग इन ओके मल्टीप्लाइड विथ लॉग इन डिलीट पॉइंट इज गिवेन इफ पॉइंट इज गिवेन डिलीट कॉस्ट इज लॉग इन ओके इट हैज रिपीटेड इट हैज रिपीटेड ओके स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ लॉग इन टाइम्स इट मीन्स लॉग इन टू द पावर ऑफ थ्री बाई टू ओके सो दैट मीन्स वन की डिक्रीमेंट इज ऑल्सो लॉग इन टाइम फॉर द मीन ही इट हैज रिपीटेड स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ लॉग इन टाइम मीन्स लॉग इन टू द पावर ऑफ ओके थ्री बाई टू Theta of. So now the leading term, leading term is n log n. Okay. If you go for min heap, the time complexity of algorithm is become n log n. Okay. Then the other third part is the sorted array. Okay. If you take the sorted array, so search cost is less now. Binary search can be applied. Okay. One one searching required log n time. okay and repeated square root of log in time okay and one insertion of the sorted array is required n time okay one deletion deletion required n uh, uh, sorted array one insertion required n time repeated n n, n insertions one insertions n time repeated n insertions theta of n square delete operation because of sorted array so one deletion required n time and repeated square root of log in time okay and key decrement also n time okay because the result should be in the sorted order one key decrement is n time repeated okay square root of n time then overall time complexity of the algorithm is theta of n square okay right then then other possibility other possibility same either for these operations okay find operation except find operation insert delete key decrement insert delete key decrement insert delete key decrement sorted double linked list sorted array both are same okay insert delete key decrement for these three operations okay assume that sorted sorted double linked list okay so only only difference here sorted array and sorted double linked list searching is different okay because it is okay linked list either sorted or unsorted we have to go for linear search linear search should be used here n multiplied with okay so repeated square root of log in times okay then one insertion because of sorted form one insertion required n time it repeated n insertions total n square time okay one deletion because of the sorted order one deletion n time repeated square root of log in time log in operations okay log in times same data same operation repeated one key decrement because of sorted sequence n and it repeated square root of log in okay then the total cost is the total cost is theta of n square so algorithm time complexity is become theta of n square so out of all these possible data structures unsorted array unsorted array is less time complexity for the given operations of the algorithm so the, so the answer to this given question okay option a okay so option a unsorted array is okay if you use the data structure for this alg algorithm the time complexity is reducing right